Here with the voice champs winning coach Michael Clark another win this time you hit that 300 landmark you were one point shy last year how you feel about that I see it as a blessing I had the help of the management team, my coach and staff. At least of course on the old boys and the school and you know, all those persons who were integral in making it happen. You won by almost a hundred points. A lot of stars on the team as well as good athletes that stepped up at champs. Is this your best team ever? <laughs> I've had so many teams I can't remember comparison with which one is. But it's a good team, an all round team and I'm glad they came through when it mattered most. Even though we had some mishaps that um, want, they, well, it, it appeared as if they were, it was going to fold a bit, but we got up, brushed ourselves off, and we, we got going. The response is testimony to how strong the team is. But the foul ups, the Calabar fans were a bit scared. What happened there? Well, some of it is unex, unexplainable or inexplainable. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those phenomenons that you that occurs in a championship. You just you just can't put a, 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 a definition or a meaning or an explanation. But it happens, and but we we're glad that um, it wasn't too serious that we could recover. You always circumspect about you know making predictions, and that is a reason why because the unpredictability of champs. But the middle distance program. I uh, spoke to you a couple of years ago when you just came to Calabar and you said one of the main things that has to change is the middle distance program. How you feel now? I mean, you have Belafonte has won a couple of years at Champs. This year, Rajay Hamilton is a double winner, 800 and 1500. A lot of points in the middle distance. How proud are you? Extremely happy. And uh, it was not, it's not a single effort on my part. It's a, a group effort in terms of the coaches and what they had to offer in terms of the attention and the suggestions and, and so on. And program design has a lot to do with it. Javon Francis, you know, he had an hamstring injury earlier. You know, he, he broke the record, Usain Bolt's record in the 400. Didn't do as well as he wanted to in the 200. Didn't come out in the 4x4. Four four. How is he? He's having a bit of a um, soreness now. Uh, he has a bit of a hamstring strain. But uh, the doctors having looked at him are saying that he'll be, he should be okay in a week, two weeks. Michael O'Hara had a rough chance. You know, you're going to probably have to do some coaching now, mentally. What did you say to him after the fast start? Well, to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and you made a transition from class two to class one. It's a less comforting, less relaxing um, transition than he would from class three to two. And the dominance that he experienced in class two, it's going to take some time to, make, to, to get, a, get accustomed to um, the, 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 the high level of intensity and, and the, the, um, <laughs> the, the, the changes that he has to make mentally. And it's more mental more than anything else. People are questioning how we have used Oara and Javon Francis, but nobody knows an athlete better than their coach. What do you have to say about that? Well, I don't know what they mean by how I've used them. I don't know what they mean by in terms of what events he do, they do. But um, we, I try to make, it, uh, try to place them in events that suits their talents and their, their, work, their work ethics as well as the benefit of the team. Um, without, without, um, in a, well, without doing anything that will jeopardize their future. Another victory. A couple of years ago, I remember speaking to you, and you know, you say it's for the Calabar fans and the, the Old Boy Association and everything. Great team this year, pretty good team last year. Are you reinvigorated? It's mm, a hard one. I love track, I'm passionate about it. And I'm passionate about setting uh, um, goals and trying to achieve it. So every year I try to move with myself by trying to set goals. I guess one of the goals this year was to get Java to break this year's record. Having achieved that, um, I'm happy. And I guess along the way, I was hoping that we could break some of the records setting class three sprints, and we have done that. So I'm going to have to motivate myself again by setting more goals 
and see how best I can achieve them to keep myself motivated. But I'm, I'm, I'm intrinsically motivated because I, I'm passionate about track. Speaking of passionate about track, Akon Track Club. Will we see Javon Francis at Akon next year? God's willing, he should be there. Okay, congrats, Michael Clark. Again, another victory. All the best. No respect. All right. <laughs>